Franklin Joseph Little Bear, known affectionately as Frank, grew up in a rural setting, living with his grandparents on a small homestead on the Standing Rock Indian Reservation in South Dakota, specifically in a small community called Kennel in Corson County. It is part of the larger Sioux County and lies near the Missouri River. Kennel is a quiet, isolated area, primarily residential, with a small population. The community is characterised by its wide open spaces, rolling plains and close-knit atmosphere. As a rural settlement on the reservation, Kennel has limited infrastructure, and its residents are often involved in agriculture, ranching or other local industries. It remains a peaceful, traditional place reflective of the broader cultural heritage of the Lakota Sioux people who inhabit the region. On the reservation, Franklin Little Bear was raised by his mother and had five siblings. As a boy, he enjoyed an active childhood, participating in activities such as cross-country running. Frank was also known for his willingness to help others, often taking younger children out to forage for wild food, including turnips and berries. Additionally, he had a passion for raising dogs, which he would later sell to people. As Frank got older, he continued to help his family in various ways. As previously mentioned, his childhood and adolescence was spent on the Standing Rock Indian Reservation in South Dakota. His upbringing there shaped his sense of self, and as he reached adulthood, Frank grew increasingly disillusioned with the limitations he felt living on the reservation. He developed a sense of hopelessness about his future, which led him to consider leaving for pastures new. His friends from Minneapolis often spoke about the opportunities in the big city, which piqued Frank's interest. In 1979, Frank decided to leave the reservation to seek a new spark in life. At the time, he was 15 years old and had a distinctive appearance for a Native American, being light-skinned with shoulder-length hair. Frank's departure came with some emotional difficulty, as he did not particularly want to leave, but he ultimately made the decision to go. His friend from Minneapolis, who had come back for a visit, convinced him to make the journey. On the day of his departure, Frank, along with his friend, was taken to the bus station in the neighbouring town of Mobridge, Walworth County, South Dakota. The bus station, once part of the Brown Palace Hotel, no longer operates. Frank boarded a Jack Rabbit bus with his friend, and after that day, he was never seen again. Sometime around 1985, Franklin wrote a letter home to check in on his family and told them that he loved them, but the individual who received this particular letter, his uncle, has since passed away. Unfortunately, exactly when Franklin was last in touch with his loved ones remains somewhat unclear. The family member who recalls this event, his brother Elliot Little Bear, expresses that he did not want Frank to go, but felt he had no control over his brother's decision. This was the last interaction the family had with young Frank, who was never heard from again after the bus departure. According to his brother, in a later development, the friend Frank left with transitioned to a woman and later informed the family that Frank might have ended up in a pauper's grave in Chicago around 1985. However, the details remain unclear and there is no confirmation of such claims. Additionally, the family recalls a grade school librarian at Fort Yates, North Dakota, from Frank's childhood who had physical custody of him at one point. The foster parent in question was from Chicago and had to relocate due to a family emergency. 
Frank might have been trying to locate this librarian when he left for Minneapolis, although this remains speculative. The family's search for answers regarding Frank's disappearance and his fate continues, but the information remains fragmented and the mystery of his fate is unresolved. There has been much speculation surrounding the circumstances of Frank's disappearance, which has left his last remaining brother and half-sister understandably frustrated at the lack of answers. Elliot describes his brother's disappearance as a, quote, living nightmare and hopes that someday he'll find answers. We would like to offer our deepest thanks to Elliot Little Bear for setting time aside to speak to us privately regarding Frank, who he was, what his life was like, and the profound impact his disappearance has had on him. We hope that discussing this case on this platform will bring more awareness to Frank's disappearance. At the time of his vanishing, Franklin Joseph Frank Little Bear was 17 years old. He was described as a Native American male with a light complexion, with black shoulder length hair and brown eyes, standing at 5 feet 7 inches tall and weighing approximately 160 pounds. He is a member of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. An age progression image of him to 61 years old was created digitally by the National Centre for Missing and Exploited Children in 2023, using a photograph of Franklin as a seven-year-old boy. However, it should be noted that when he vanished, he was almost 18 and had shoulder-length hair, meaning this depiction of him may not be entirely accurate. If alive today... Franklin Little Bear would be 62 years old. Those with any information regarding the disappearance of Franklin Little Bear are urged to contact the South Dakota Bureau of Indian Affairs at 833 560 2065.